Alrighty, so here we are. We're about to go look for people with some red scarf action. This dude has red scarf. Blood, blood butterfly, black market. Tabitha told us about you. Tell me what you need. Well, I see I got some uh, Panacea bottles. Um, okay, um, I'll just take a couple of these. A couple of these. Mm. I don't like wasting money on items that are going to lower my grade if I use them in battle. Can I enhance anything I have right now? Anything these people have? Yeah, I can. Amber Talisman, enhance that, man. Break soul power plus 10%. All right. Boom, as an earth element, hit to the first part of the attack art. Nice. I, I don't know if that's good or bad, to be honest. It depends on the situation, I suppose. Break soul power, 20 plus experience from defeating demi human foes. She, we'll probably want her to equip that because she just mastered that, if I do believe. So, oh, she's been master. Oh, she's about to master it. Non-elemental damage reduced by like 4% or something. 5%. So maybe that's not a bad deal. So we definitely want to try to get that ASAP. Decreasing anything. I'm going to have to grind for a lot of these skills off camera. But right now, what we're going to do is uh, move on, progress the story, and try not to uh, break my controller. So, <laughs> let's get going. Find the soldier with the red scarf. Will they be on the map? Yes, they will. So I need to come over here. We're gonna hit up the save point, so... Better safe than sorry, like always. New save. Go coming over here, coming over here, coming over there, coming on, coming over there, <laughs> coming. Just spending plenty of time coming over here. Here we go. Let's see your papers. Let me see the paper so I know that it's real. Checks out. Yeah, show them the paper. This tunnel over here connects to the castle. It should put you inside the villa. Let me guess, these are the catacombs that we're about to enter that we gotta find that damn uh, red demon at. <laughs> Why are you tripping, fam? Uh, uh, Watch your step, boy. There are giant crocodiles in those waters. Crocodiles? A croc's favorite meal is witches. <laughs> All right, onward and inward. Everyone but Mogilu, tread carefully. <laughs> Some assassin's crew we are. Goddamn Mogilu. A fearsome organization. All right. The Bloodwings are a serious organization. I'm impressed that they know about this entrance. And they have agents on the inside to facilitate this little operation too. They must have branches working all over the Empire. They've probably even figured out how to get cats and dogs working for them. Really? Here's a juicy morsel about them. They make sure even their corpses go to good use. They what? Long ago, one of their agents stole into the castle. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to this very passage. He dove into the water to escape, and then... Crunch! Ah! A crocodile devoured him in one massive bite. All that remained was his arm, bobbing to the surface. From this, two important facts were learned. What were they? First, they learned of the existence of this passage. Second, they could serve crocodile meat in town. Bruh. Crocodile meat rubbed with human blood becomes tender and succulent. Perfect for Mabo curry. Then Bruh. I ate... <laughs> If it's so tasty, I'll have to try it. Rubbed with the blood of a lying witch. That would hit the spot, I think. And it wouldn't even affect our combat strength. <laughs> hey, the kid's a wreck. It was just a joke to help calm him down. It was a joke? Yeah, I totally made up that part about the crocodile. Mabo curry is actually made from man-eating catfish who... <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. 
Let's keep moving. Right. I'll get you for this, witch killers! Of course. I, I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Broken artifact. What are these guys down here saying? Hey, according to the drawings I saw, you'll need to go through some tight passages to get to the building. With a figure like that, you might get stuck. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> There's a switch here. Not sure what that did. Oh, it lowered the water. Okay, now we can go down there. Sweet. Is this glittery? Switches in waterways. You can flip switches to drain waterways and create new paths. This is something similar to a dungeon. Hey, look! The water level dropped. You don't think there are any alligators down there, do you? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Whoa. Was that who I think it was? What the? What? What the? Oh! No No escape! 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 Thank you. Ah, delicious. You're done. Ah, let's go. Delicious. <laughs> Victory is ours. Freaking floating bobbleheads. Somebody mastered something. Somebody mastered this earth ring. Now they can move over to an aqua ring. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Plenty of these dumbass heads over here. Might want to try to avoid getting into a damn encounter with these guys. Oh, look at that. So we found a way over here. It's down here. Damon's in the waterway. They're supposed to be protecting the people from demons, but there are demons right under their noses. Abby's security is certainly lacking here. The whole point of building those massive walls around the city is to keep people safe inside. But if there's a demon outbreak on the inside, those same walls will make it harder for everyone to escape. The palace covers a lot of ground, so there are tons of hiding places. It wouldn't be hard for a demon to slip in through the waterway. I'm sure the Abby is aware of that. Perhaps it's a trap made to lure intruders in. What? They lure demons in and then ignore them? Something doesn't add up. I know, right? Well, by the end of this dungeon, we're probably gonna find the boss. Broken artifact, more cat balls, giant empty areas within the hallway. Hey, there's a slime, let's fight it. Are we ready for no this? Hurricane! Forget the pain and move! Quick this! 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 Let me go ahead and spell magic with Windlands right here. This is honestly what I should have had set up for that boss fight against the uh, the King Kong gone wrong. Aim for the one right here. Dunk! That wasn't worth the effort. Goddamn right it wasn't. Oh, I should just learn something. Alright, now she can go the silky touch garment. 
All right, reduce the stagger duration. Now, this is an item that I got from getting my shop ranked to level three, and I also ranked it up a little bit, or I, I pretty much dismantled some other things and then uh, enchanted it, upgraded it, basically. So now, just about to... What the hell is this guy? Where did this guy come from? A Windlands! Windlands! I shouldn't have killed him. Nice. Another victory. Another victory. Geo Stigma. Nice. Sorcerer. Calcite Waistcoat. Nice. Everybody's learning or mastering some of their skills, which is nice. Maximum HP plus 30, I guess. Max HP increases by whatever. That's a nice trigger skill. I should have boosted that a little bit. Alright, Ember Waistcoat, I guess. Oh, um, we came from that way. What's this way? We're just gonna keep ignoring most of these enemies though now. We fought all the unique ones, I believe. If I see another unique one, I'll go ahead and uh, fight it. But right now, we just wanna keep going further. Is that expedition back? Take a look at this. Loss. W L L W L W. Ooh, this will be big. What a treasure! Twins costumes, clothing found in a chest of drawers in the Dial Mill Island. Some say they were one, worn by twins who mastered of mimicry. It's the stuff of legends. I have a feeling that is probably a throwback to a Tales game that I can't remember because I haven't played it. Scholarly Drive. Yeah, let's go ahead and scout ship setting sail. Do that again. All right, cool. Let's go back. And look at the skills. Scholarly dry increases the amount of food found. That's good. Children's clothes. More odd junk, huh? <laughs> Clothing found in a chest of drawers in a diamond island. These clothes seem to have once belonged to a master of mimics. What is a mimic, anyway? A mimic can copy the abilities of a profession simply by wearing clothes used by the profession. That's quite remarkable. All right, Lafayette, try them on and see what happens. If they're mimic clothes, then they might turn you into a mimic, right? I can try, but even if wearing these gives me the powers of a mimic, I have to put on a different set of clothes to use these powers. And once I take off the mimic clothes, I'll lose those abilities, so... We have no way to prove whether or not they're gonna have any powers. Uh, hey, <laughs> I see what you're saying. It's a nasty paradox, isn't it? Paradox. It's a paradox. <laughs> what? Children's clothes. Alright. I wonder if those treasures are going to be used for anything. Oh my god, with these. Oh no, not like these. I'm going to be going through this entire dungeon. Looking for ways to progress, aren't I? Ooh, kick the hell out of it. Let's see where this one goes. This probably comes from the other path. Looks like it. Oh, look at that. There's a ward point right there. Life bottle, abandon it. We haven't used life bottles. Oh, look what we found. I think for the life of me, uh, just to be on the safe side, obviously, quick save. We found where this guy resides. He was hiding in the wall. All right. <clears throat> Let's get ready to get into this battle. Kill ball. Weakness is wind. Crustacean and fiend. Crustacean Fiend win, huh? Don't we have all that? With him? No, I think we have it. Again, with Velvet, she has all that, right? So Velvet has Crustacean, Wind, and Fiend, I believe. She has Crustacean, Gouging Spin. Alright. So Gouging Spin. Uh... 
Crustacean and Fiend. I don't think she has Fiend. She's that's the only thing she doesn't have. Is Fiend. But I do have Wind again, so. Swallow Dance. No escape! No escape! No escape! Ready to die? Think you can die? Damn. Just try. That was pretty preemptive, my dude. What does this dude do? Weak to hit Naruto. Huh? He's blocking everything, V. I gotta get a stun. Get that stun. Oh I'm my god, dude. what he was about to do. Can't let him do it though. Oh, that's a counter. Okay. So yeah, that is a counter. Dude is obnoxious. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Damage time. He was not about to kill me. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I had to do it. I lost the set. Feel free to heal me anytime now, bro. I might have to keep doing gouging spin then. Gouging, gouging, gouging spin if I ever get a chance to do it. Alright, here we go. Got you, got you. Got you, got you. 
Oh man, that, that dodge made me like not dodge at all. You know what? I need you to actually keep healing me. Not. He needs to first aid me all the time. There's no way to do shortcuts, I believe. Alright. Ooh, this is a slow battle, but dude, slow and steady, that's all we need. Slow and steady right now. Not today. It's a fast move and it also lets me like stop when I need to stop. Ugh. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're done. <laughs> you're done. You're stunned. Oh my god. Did you think you could escape me? <laughs> that dude was hella because you know what he would sit there and do? He would sit there and try to counter your move. That dude was hella a lot easier than the other guy. My two dudes got knocked down, but you know, they kept running into that counter, which is unfortunate. But here we go. Fire type damage reduced by 4%. Elemental Dispersing Glass Sight provides the ability to trigger a random skill when... which decreases elemental damage. Alright. Suffering from status elements, including paralysis and burns, prevents the restoration of HP by gels and healing arts. You can't use gels to heal while under status elements. Status elements last for around 30 seconds. It can be extremely dangerous if left ignored. You can cheer status elements with... Tenesia bottles. Okay, removing yada yada yada. I know paralysis. Enemies resistant to non-elemental attacks cannot be paralyzed. Wow. But enemies suffering from reduced attacks are four times more susceptible. So reduced attack. So if I can reduce their attack, they become more susceptible to status elements. Okay. I think somebody's skill allows that. Somebody's skills does that. Anyway, we ate, we're fully recovered again. Let's go ahead and make another quick save. That was free, it's just literally stay in that, stay in break soul with Velvet and you won't ever die. <laughs> That's essentially what it's gonna be, but looks like we fought the uh, random enemy there. We took him out, now we wanna move on, move along, move along. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, there's a chest over here, it's a cat's chest. Probably don't have enough cat balls, but I should uh, try to initiate contact with it so I can have it up on the map at least. I heard that thing, that <laughs> slimy eyes, dude. Alright, uh, let's. No, nah, we ain't gonna fight him. Wait, there was a cat's thing on the other side, though. So, let's come over here first and try to get that thing on the map. I wish there was a faster way to freaking walk. Right now, we have no faster way to walk. We need to get through here while it's still nighttime. The perfect place for prognostication. Eeny, teeny, spiny crow. Which way, which way shall we go? Bruh. Mogilu. <laughs> oh, verily the icy glare of death. Boy, which way do you think is best? I... Uh... <laughs> I 
There must be a way up somewhere. Let's find it. Uh, she ain't having nobody shit. She just be looking at people and just intimidating. See, this is why you ain't gonna never get a boyfriend. I, 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 oh shit. I <laughs> I pushed the triangle button on reaction. Why that was so glad, my bad. Velvet? The thought of killing a man weighing heavy even on your own damaged conscience. I'm scared about the damn head. Especially. But I wonder how you remain so flippant about it. Hey, I'm not here to murder anyone. I'm just tagging along in search of my traitor. <clears throat> Do we have to kill him? Can't we just make him stop this nectar business? I don't think he'd listen to us. Huh? Word in the taverns is that this high priest is a real shady character. The Abbey and the religion are popular now, but three years ago, no one had heard of them. High Priest Gideon was the one who led the church through those dark days. But once Malachim became visible to the general public, and they learned how effective Moloch arts were against demons, that all changed. Humans are such fools, only believing what they can see with their own eyes. And once the church had attained popular support, a nasty power struggle swept through the ranks. Many vied for the mantle of High Priest, charlatans, power-hungry converts, but they all faded away. They left the church? No, they all met their maker. Some from disease, others from accidents. And in the end, Gideon became high priest. Uh, he may be the head of the church, but the people clamor for Shepherd Artorius. That's got a sting. Either way, if we're to face him, he might have some tricks up his sleeve. We'll need to keep our eyes open. It doesn't matter who he is. We just do our job. Alright, so we need 65, man, I mean, we are progressing pretty, we're progressing pretty fast, so it's like, we're gonna probably be lacking in a lot of, uh, cat's balls. Whenever we see a chest, we're, we don't, we're always gonna be lacking, 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 slacking, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, hey, look at that, there's a way up, right there, but what's over here, I wonder? Cat balls. Cat balls. Alone in the world with a little cat balls. A lot of cat balls. Cat balls, cat balls. So this is the way up. Let's go up, I suppose. Hopefully there's a save point right up here. And we went up one. So we're here. An herb and some spirit balls, some cat balls. They grow herbs in the freaking waterway. No way, dude. Who does that? Who has time for all that? Let's be honest. Hmm. Oh no, not like this. I hate those damn creepy ass heads. Damn, I gotta lower this water again, huh? Alright, uh, I can't, ain't got time for that. Oh, I ain't got time for that. Uh-uh. Nope. Not right now. Oh, not like this. Oh, no. Alright, I can dodge them. These dudes, at least, unlike the pixies, they flash so you can kind of react to where they're going to be. Alright, so here we go. We flip the switch. Let's actually see where this goes. This might lead to a chest. What did I say? No, not like these. Calcite fragment. Totally not worth. Alright. Time to go right back up. And try to just traverse this down water. Whoa, this guy. Let's fight him. You're strong. Let's get that down spell cast out of here. Wow, he did a faster attack. You know what? Okay. 
Coins. We're finding Tails coins as we go through here. That's uh, awfully generous, I guess. I guess this is not the right way we need to be going. Oh, I needed. I guess we needed to go flip this switch again. Ah, so we had to do it. So yeah, we're on the right path for sure. Get these cat balls. Just keep walking out of here. This dungeon is so challenging. I mean, these switches are in order. There's nothing tricky about it. Man, I, I love these dungeons. I, I love not being challenged at all with these, but with the puzzles and the dungeons. I think this is probably it for this dungeon. This is the best dungeon design ever. Hallways. I just love traversing hallways, you know what I'm saying? Look at this, more hallways. They could have probably just let us, I don't know, get straight to the castle from this point. Nah, we gotta try to avoid these random encounters like that, B. Woo, he almost got me though. Reacted to that flash. He might, nope, he didn't do anything. Rough gemstone, huh? Tarnished silver coin. So there's a warp point. Here we go. Nice. So what we're gonna do... Save our game. And let's check out this castle. Looks like we finally made it. A library? This is unexpected. Wow! Oh, well, isn't this a rare collection of tomes? You royals sure have coffers to burn. Oh, look at this. How convenient. Oh, Her curiosity revealed the tongue. goddamn Can secret passage. It? Well, no, but I just... This has nothing to do with our job. Huh? If you want it, just take it. Don't pretend to be noble. You're consorting with demons. Good grief, Velvet. You can't lighten up for once in your life. <laughs> lighten up? Did you forget we're here to kill someone? You really want that ratty old thing? There's gotta be way pricier ones. <laughs> this feels so awkward, dude. Alright, so we made it here. We can probably go back down and save it if we want, right? So I think what we're gonna do is save it. And once we come back, we'll be back to infiltrate and most likely assassinate. <laughs> 